So now we are in the Visual Basic development environment. So let's start writing. Again, we are going to be writing a subroutine. So I will write sub. Now we need to choose a name for our sub. I will call it output1 because this is the first subroutine that we are writing for output. I will then press enter and as you can see just like in the previous video things have become blue. I have now finished writing the program. Note that I have indented these. I will now run the program. Now because my cursor was not actually in the program, I have popped up with this window. I'm, I will try and repeat this for you. So if I press, if I have my cursor in here and I press play, the code will just run but if my cursor is not between sub and end sub and I press play I come up with this box and this box is saying which program do you want me to run as you can see there is only one program to choose and I will click run you may have just noticed that I have run the program twice but that's okay See, as you can see, I have written hello and world in these two cells. Now let's go through and see how this program works. We are using this command called range.value. So look, range, and then in inverted commas, there is b5.value equals hello. So take this range of cells now a range of cells can be one cell so take this range of cells b5 and the value of this range of cells should be hello just like that the same thing with the world and notice that this hello and this world is in quotation marks just like I said before the computer should not think about what is in these quotation marks it should just output it to the spreadsheet let's go through what happened again we have taken the word hello it's on the right hand side of the equal sign now whatever is on the right goes into whatever is on the left like so Let's go through this again. Whatever is on the right goes into whatever is on the left. The next programming task is to put the number 11 into the blue cell below. This is cell B9. 